Hello! In this video, I want to show you math that describes well-known properties of Mebius strip and its cuts. We will also see simple but powerful math model with specific capabilities and limits. Let's start by cutting various shapes. When we cut simple zero twist loop lengthwise in half, we get two identical zero twists. No surprise. However, when we cut in half one twist loop called the Mabius strip, we get one four twist loop. When we cut Mabius strip in thirds lengthwise, We get one four twist loop and one Mebius strip interlocked together. It gets really interesting when we take two loops and stick them together. First, let's take two simple zero twist loops and stick them together in 90 degrees and cut them. And we get a square, which is quite surprising for most of the students. We can try to reconstruct it back to see how a square uh, can be a result of cutting two cylindrical loops. And it gets better with two Mebius strips. And also it's a more complicated situation. First, there are two different Mebius strips. It depends if you twist the paper clockwise or counterclockwise. The strips are mirror images of each other and cannot be simply turned into the other. only in four-dimensional space, and this is how the projection on our 3D space would look like. But that's another topic for another video. Anyway, if we stick together two different Mebius strips and cut them, we get two hearts interlocked into each other. Students are usually quite surprised and amazed by this. However, if we stick together two identical Mebius strips, both clockwise or both counterclockwise, and cut them, we, we get something quite disappointing. Something like a boat, a weird twist, and it falls apart. So make sure to be clear when instructing students. Well, all this is beautiful and you've probably seen it before. But where is the math? I believe that if we stop here, we miss a great opportunity to show students simple but very applicable math model. First, we will discover a characteristic features of Mebius strip and simple zero twist loop. To do this, we make a Mebius strip using transparent paper. Now imagine that we will ride a van on the surface of the strip.
After one round, we arrive to the starting point at the other edge and upside down. We can also see this by drawing a line alongside one edge of the Mebius strip. We arrive at the starting point at the other edge. Well, technically, Mebius strip has only one edge, so we shouldn't say that, but it looks like that. On the zero twist loop, we simply arrive where we started. And when we draw a line along one edge, we just arrive where we started as we would expect. This is the key difference between Mebius strip and zero twist simple loop that we will try to capture using a math model. Okay, let's move to the abstract model that uses arrows to distinguish simple loop and Mebius strip. First up is the simple loop. We start with a rectangle to represent the strip. When we go around the simple loop, we arrive at the same spot and with the same orientation. To denote this, we draw two arrows in the same direction. It means that the two edges are connected so that the direction of arrows match. Hence, there is no change in orientation. And now, the Mebius strip. When we go around the Mebius strip, we arrive at the other side. Technically, it's the same side, but it looks like the other side. And upside down. To denote this, we use arrows in the opposite direction. So that when we cross the border, we preserve the orientation and position relatively to the arrows. If we leave at the tip, we come back at the tip and vice versa. Notice that this model distinguishes between the simple loop and the Mebius strip, but it does not distinguish the two types of Mebius strip. This is the price for the simplicity of this model. In science, we can see many similar trade-offs between accuracy and simplicity of a model. In high school physics, for example, we often work with ideal objects in vacuum. Now, let's look at our model in action. We start with a simple zero-twist loop cut. To do this in our model, we draw a cutting line in the middle of the strip, and then we can determine how many pieces will there be after cutting. Again, imagine that we ride a van starting here. After one round, we arrive where we started without the chance of reaching the top piece. Similarly, if we drive a van at the top piece, we cannot reach the bottom one. It means that the top and the bottom pieces are not connected and they will fall apart after cutting. Each piece will have the same length and of course it will be a zero twist loop. For greater clarity, we will repaint the arrows that determine the border orientation at each piece with matching colors. Next up is the Mebius strip. We use the same strategy, but now we can see that it is possible to reach the other piece. Therefore, the pieces will remain as one narrow but twice as long strip with more twists. To see that there are four twists can be beyond capabilities of our model. We can also cut the Mebius strip in thirds. The model tells us that the cutting line will continue at the bottom third. Using the same procedure, we can see that there will be one long piece with the same number of twists as before, and in the middle, we get a narrow Mebius strip. What we cannot figure out using this simple model is that the strips will be interlocked together. Finally, we come to cutting the combinations of strips. We begin with two simple loops glued together at the angle of 90 degrees. We cut each tape in the middle and write a van starting here. We can reach all the pieces and therefore the pieces will stay together. 
With two Mebius strips, the situation is different because we can reach only one half of the strips with each van. Therefore, there will be two separate pieces after cutting. Here we can see a limitation of our model. Since it does not distinguish between the two types of Mebius strip, it cannot determine whether we get them both and the weird strip thing or the two hearts interlocked together. On the other hand, the power of abstract models is that we can easily test other configurations. For example, the simple loop and the Mebius strip. Do not fall apart after cutting. But we can go much further. For example, one simple loop with three Mebius strips. Using the model, we can quickly see the result. But it is still fun to actually do it. This is Math Constructed. Thank you for watching. If you don't want to miss the next video, hit that subscribe button.